Hello, Farabians. Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about the Arab nation. This lesson is the continuation of what we took last week. I hope you remember we learned a lot about the Arabs last week. That is about you all. So let's get started. Let's do some review before we start our lesson for today. So who are Arabs? I'm waiting. Excellent. Arabs are people who come from Arab countries. No matter what Arab country people come from, they are all Arabs. Some Arabs come from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, Syria, or Morocco. Look at the pictures given here. In the first picture, this boy comes from Jordan. In the second picture, this boy comes from Morocco. In the third picture, this girl comes from Saudi Arabia. In the fourth picture, this girl comes from Egypt. No matter what Arab country they're coming from, they are all Arabs. So who can tell me what are dialects? I'm waiting. Yes, wonderful. Dialects are different ways of speaking. Although Arabs speak the same language that is Arabic, but they speak in different styles and ways. These are called dialects. Okay. Can you look at the kids in the picture? Let's see what they're saying. We speak Arabic in different dialects, but we all understand each other. Although Arabs who come from different countries speak in different ways, but they all understand each other because they are speaking in a common language that is Arabic. There are 22 Arab countries in all, and they are located on two continents, in Africa and Asia. You won't find Arab countries in the continent of Europe or the continent of South America. Arab countries are just present in Asia and Africa. The Arab countries present in Asia are Bahrain, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, United Arab Emirates, and Yemen. Please try to remember these countries. The Arab countries present in Africa are Algeria, Comoros, Djibouti, Egypt, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, Somalia, Sudan, and Tunisia. As we said earlier, that all Arabs speak the same common language that is Arabic. Even the Holy Quran, the Holy Script of Muslims, is written in Arabic language. Arabs have many things in common. Like they share the same language, they have the same past, and there are many practices that are common among them. For example, visiting their family members or relatives during Eid, serving coffee to the guests or to their guests. An example of the same past would be, majority of the Arabs or most of the Arabs worked in fields they worked in agriculture, they did farming, and uh, they used to herd animals and take care of animals. And most of them were nomads. A nation is a group of countries sharing the same language, past, and practices. As we have learned earlier, or as we've just read and learned, that Arabs share the same language, the same past, and many other practices. So this makes or these things make the Arab countries belong to one group. 
or to one nation, which is the Arab nation. So all the countries, all the Arab countries belong to the Arab nation. That's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed our lesson. Take care and goodbye.